My name is Umair Ibrahim and next to me is Abira Lagari, the mother of our second child, Isa Ibrahim, born on 13 December 2020. We moved our case at a very critical stage to King's College uh, when my wife was in her last trimester. Due to certain complications of uh, the doctors in a, in a private hospital and due to the negligence, we, it compelled us to move our case here. It was initially uh, tough. We didn't know what to do. Uh, to one of our cousins who recommended us Dr. Gauri. We came and met Dr. Gauri and I vividly remember the first time my wife and I met her. She not only made us feel comfortable, but also very kind and professional to handle the case in such an eroded way that uh, you know, we, we felt at home. Uh, she, she made us feel so comfortable and overall, she timely delivered the baby as planned. We would highly suggest uh, anybody who's going through a traumatic surgery or any complications, just come and see Dr. Gauri first. Uh, you'll feel the difference because we've been to other hospitals and this, there's a remarkable difference you can uh, feel with Dr. Gauri. So the reason actually we moved to Dr. Gauri was because I started feeling uh, like my symptoms again. So I'm uh, like I have high risk pregnancies. So my liver function becomes really high during my pregnancy. And I lost my first child because of that. And of course, being a first time mother, I didn't know the symptoms. I didn't know when I should have informed my doctor. And my doctor, unfortunately, wasn't able to detect it and uh, by the time we figured it out i had already delivered and um, we, we lost the baby because uh, so with liver function the one thing that happens is which dr gary explained to me is it starts affecting the baby's heart and it doesn't really affect the mother but it is a very very high risk factor for the baby so it needs to be detected really, really early on and the, the baby needs to be delivered preterm. So not being aware of that, we did deliver our first baby full term and he unfortunately, because of that, survives of course, just the trauma of losing the first child. Uh, it's, it's something you never get over, but it's something that like with every pregnancy following that, it, it's just, it's stressful for me um emotionally mentally and like physically of course it is something that i have to like um, endure the place where i was emotionally and mentally i needed a support from a doctor where you know like a doctor who would just make me feel like it's okay i'm here and i'm gonna make sure that your baby is okay i just needed a doctor to just say that to me so i would just relax and dr gauri did that it was like she didn't even question that why are you coming to me this late or it's your third trimester and usually I know I, I've experienced it doctors don't take you on later on in your and especially if you're a high risk it's it's something I, I've experienced it they don't really take you on God bless her she 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 just made sure that everything went so smoothly following that uh, every scan we were like told exactly how the baby was if the blood flow was good if there was something she was concerned about if she needed to see me again and you know like if a doctor like sort of tells you i might need to see you after two days you do sort of like panic like why and then she would always explain it to me that you don't need to worry it's just that these are a few tests i would like to run just for my own satisfaction so just knowing that a doctor was like like I actually felt like I was the only patient like she had no other patient other than me <laughs> and during the surgery she was like so amazing I cannot explain it to she you she was always up there uh, yeah. she invited me in the labor room everybody started dancing some yeah. uh, one yeah. of the doctors uh, he started yeah. uh, playing the music and just yeah, to like, lighten up the lighten board up the so it, it was yeah. like uh, a very homely sort of yeah, a feeling. Yeah, so I was in, like in tears before that because like I'm going into surgery and it's COVID and, and everyone was like, please stop crying, we'll start crying. <laughs> so it was like, you know, they, they made sure that like I, I was relaxed. Then Dr. Gauri like um, throughout, like when she started my procedure, she was, she kept telling me like, this is what's happening right now. Now I'm doing this. So, you know, the whole 
journey, I, even though I couldn't see it, I felt like I was a part of it. Like there, there are no words to say thank you to her for what she's done for us. Like Alhamdulillah, and like, and she's been in touch with us ever since. Like, even like post-pregnancy, like I, she, it's, it's not like I come and see her. She would call and she would ask after me, and she'd be like, "How, how are you feeling? Are you okay?" She's probably the only doctor. This is my third pregnancy who wanted to see me like ten days after I had delivered not just the six weeks. She was like, because I need you to come in, so I want to just make sure everything is okay. Don't don't leave anything to chance. Like, we need to make sure all's okay. So, yeah, yeah. so like, even now, like, I just feel, I feel like she's more of a friend that I know who just helped me have a baby than my doctor. <laughs> yeah, the, the, you know, the element of walking an extra mile and yeah. making the uh, patients feel comfortable, not just the uh, wife, but also the husband, yeah. especially the connectivity and uh, the, the kind of uh, aura she creates around her, that, that's amazing. Yeah. My name is Dr. Gowry, I'm a consultant obstetrician and gynaecologist and a fetal medicine specialist at King's College Hospital. I first met Abira uh, when she was 31 weeks pregnant. Um, and she suffered from a pregnancy specific condition called obstetric cholestasis is a condition which uh, results in uh, the liver function to be uh, deranged um, and an accumulation of bile acids um, which can have quite significant consequences uh, to the unborn child. Um, Abira uh, was very closely monitored. Um, the monitoring that's required for uh, a diagnosis of obstetric cholestasis uh, requires uh, not just medication but uh, lab investigations um, and particularly looking at the baby for um, what we call Doppler scans. So I remember Abira yes. used to come in uh, very frequently for, uh, for assessments of the, uh, of the baby. Um, and, and thankfully we, uh, we got to a point uh, where we deemed the baby was safer outside rather than uh, in utero uh, and we ended up having a, a beautiful baby boy which, um, which I'm delighted <laughs> for. I'm delighted for.